uh, hello and welcome back to Sam's Kitchen. Today I'm going to teach you, uh, show you a very authentic recipe from Libyan cuisine, Libya, which is in North Africa, the place where I was born and brought up. It's a memory as this recipe has been eating ever since I came into existence, you can say. Uh, it's a very awesome recipe and usually it's eaten in the month of Ramadan or you can cook it casually. I uh, love it anyways. I don't wait for the month of Ramadan to arrive. I cook it once or twice in a month anyways. Uh, the name of the recipe is uh, Sharba. Sharba uh, or Shorba which means soup in Arabic. Uh, it's a soup comprising of meat, grams and spices and lots of uh, parsley and mint and tomato and rosos okay so now we, we're gonna start with the we're gonna start with the ingredients over here let's uh, start with the ingredients okay so starting from here we've got uh, around uh, 200 grams of uh, gram which is boiled and pre-cooked not very soft, not very hard, just to the right consistency and texture. And you got the uh, same amount of 250 grams of or 300 grams of uh, lean mutton or lamb you can use or beef you can use. I'm using lean mutton over here. And I've got two big onions diced finely over here. And I've got uh, three, four garlic bulbs chopped crushed or chopped or chopped it doesn't make a difference and uh, I've got uh, around three tablespoon of tomato paste over here tomato paste uh, if you're not uh, available with the tomato paste uh, it's difficult to find in few places you can use uh, a little more quantity of tomato puree we'll do the same thing this is more condensed form of tomato uh, so I've got three tablespoon of tomato paste over here I've got rosos uh, which is an Italian pasta this thing is hard to find in some places however uh, if you can find an italian shop or uh, uh, any greek or spanish shop you can definitely uh, find this if you're not available with this one you can use the normal soup pasta uh, this one actually looks like rice but actually this is pasta and uh, it's basically used for the soups uh, you can find it in any italian or lebanese or spanish or these shops which sell uh, Mediterranean sort of food you can find it okay you can make it alternative with the soup pasta I've got uh, some dried mint over here uh, you can use fresh mint if you have I even have French fresh meat uh, fresh mint sorry um, but uh, I prefer to use the dried one gives me nice flavor and uh, I've got uh, uh, some parsley over here this one is dried I dried recently dried this one in my microwave as uh, fresh crispy you can see the sound in you so before pouring it in I'll be crushing it making uh, as small as possible or you can use whole if you like the leaves the leafy texture in the soup it's okay so in the spices you can use over here I've got uh, one and a half teaspoon of uh, coriander powder one and a half teaspoon of uh, cayenne pepper I got one teaspoon of uh, turmeric I've got uh, one teaspoon of uh, cumin powder and one and a half teaspoon of salt so uh, you're gonna start cooking it's very easy and fast recipe to make and it's definitely one of the tastiest and you love it to move out of your cuisine and try something else so I've got a uh, pressure cooker you can cook it in the pan because uh, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, cookable anywhere because it doesn't have anything that has to be pressure cooked the meat which will be fried and fried and uh, cooked instantly I'm going to use a pressure cooker over here so I've got a pressure cooker over here and uh, I've got uh, around three tablespoon of uh, extra virgin olive oil which I poured which is on heat already so I'm going to start with the garlic cloves pour them in completely okay. Okay. don't wait for them to get brown immediately pour the onions because they'll be getting cooked and the onions uh, will be cooking and the garlic will be cooking as well so don't brown them just pour them just give them a little sizzle in the oil and pour the onions immediately okay. give it a quick stir and just a minute not more than that just a minute because oil is hot and the onion is finely diced 
so it's gonna take it's not gonna take much time to cook so we're gonna hide Okay, so we have got about onions and garlic cooking in here. Um, we do not have to brown it, just a bit transparent, translucent, whatever. And you can see the sign of that is when it loses all the moisture and it floats on the oil, and this is extra oil, it floats on the oil, the onion says that I'm cooked. We don't have to cook me anymore. So mine is floating right on the top of the oil. So it means the oil, the moisture, the water in the onion has lost and it's become transparent. So this is the time. I pour in on all my lean meat over here okay, and give it a quick stir. Okay. Now let it cook for a moment. For a minute at least, give it a stir, put it upside down, and when the color changes, put the gas on high and lose all the moisture which is there in the meat. Let the moisture go off, and then we will pour in our tomato paste and the spices, and we're gonna rub it down till it leaves all the oil. So this one is gonna cook for at least a couple of minutes. It's gonna take a while. Uh, it, it won't take much time to cook this mutton because you can see that it's in very small pieces you actually have to cube them or dice them um, in very small pieces because uh, what we're going to make is a soup and this one over here has to be in small pieces you can't put chunks in it you really want to enjoy the soup and it will change the entire scenario so make it in small as small as possible not mince I don't even say that pounded mince or something just small cubes that's it um, bit size pieces okay so this is gonna cook for a while and when the moisture goes off all the liquids have been reduced in the, in the, in the mutton I'm gonna pour in um, the rest of the spices so let's reduce all the liquids and then come back to it let it cook and open okay so you can see here that all the liquids uh, the moisture has been reduced in the meat and the oil is showing up that's the sign that all those moisture is gone give it a stir if any, uh, any moisture is seeking a surface to evaporate just give it and the moisture has been reduced now is the time we pour in all our spices which we showed you earlier just pour them straight in and give it a stir nice one mix up all the spices Okay, there we go. See, the color has changed because the pepper which we used over here released a lot of colors. So, not to hurry, be patient. It's a lovely dish and it wouldn't take much time and effort in cooking. We, trust me, even amateurs and kids can make it. It's a very easy recipe. Um, you probably, you know what happens in Ramadan month of Ramadan. I've seen that uh, the ladies in the kitchen, they Several ladies in the kitchen when they prepare for uh, the Ramadan feast to open up the fast. So uh, this dish is basically given to the youngest and the most amateur cook in the house. But this is the one easy dish that anybody can make. So this recipe was actually taught to my mother by her friend back in Libya. And ever since she's been cooking and I learned this recipe just from my mother and just the way she taught us exactly. And I've been eating it for several years now and I haven't lost interest in it. My taste buds have taste buds have changed for a lot of things, but this thing just keeps coming to me. I can't get lost. Now. So that's the time that uh, okay, the spices are mixed up. Okay, now we're gonna pour in all of our tomato paste in it. Okay, there it goes. Okay. Give it a mix. The 
ensuring the tomato paste has uh, been mixed we're not going to cook it any further because this tomato paste which we see over here is already cooked and uh, so we don't have to burn it the color has been reduced it's a bright red color this is what exactly we're looking for and this is the time we're going to pour in a lot of water in it a lot of in the sense at least uh, a liter and a quarter uh, pouring water in it right here One, two, three, four, five. So, so that makes around 1.5 liter I'm gonna add a little more maybe yeah, 1.5 liter exactly okay so that's the perfect uh, quantity of water uh, it's a soup and the olive oil which you see on the top is not fatty so you don't have to be scared of definitely adds a lot of flavor to this dish you can reduce the amount of olive oil um, just cooking it traditionally the way it is supposed to be cooked and the way it's been cooked there so now we're gonna give it a boil boil when it boils I'm gonna pour in my grams and my uh, the, the soup pasta the rosas over here and you gotta, you're supposed to pour this only when the water is boiling. If you pour this in cold water, it will lump together, stick together and release all the starch and the thing will become too uh, sticky. So don't do that mistake, let it boil. When it comes to a boil, I'm gonna add my rest of leftover uh, parsley and uh, mint and roses and uh, the grams. And then give it uh, another boil for five minutes and it's done, that's it. So I'm gonna come back when it's boiling. Okay, uh, that's not take, gonna take long, at least a couple of minutes, not more than that. Okay, so you can see our soup is boiling. Next time I'm gonna pour all my ground in it. And my roses over here. And give it a nice little stir. Just stir it for a few, time, few seconds because uh, there's still the probability of uh, these roses because they are pasta made of wheat flour and um, making lumps inside the soup just give them a stir so they just get separated and okay so that's it just done okay so you now i'm gonna pour my parsley dried parsley and mint here in it let's see okay and so it's 90% done and we still have got to cook it on slow cover it with lid or something cook it on slow so that the pasta inside gets cooked this one says so so it was, should get it cooked and that's it and then we are done okay so we will take at least five minutes to slow it on cook it on slow we can come back and show you how it's done. So let it cook. It's already coming to a boil, you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna boil it for at least three to four minutes so that the pasta gets cooked. And then I'm gonna come back and show you the final section and the final product. Okay, so this has been cooking for five minutes now. You can see that uh, our roses are three fourths done, and this is exactly what we need. We shut it down right now, put up the gas because uh, these things keep cooking even after you put up the gas so make sure you just uh, put up the gas uh, put them off the gas when they are just three fourth done and they'll make it soften they'll soften up eventually in minutes. you see the starch released by the grocers has uh, thickened our gravy as well a little and this is the perfect consistency we needed and our sherba is ready so i'm going to show you how you dip into this Food. I'll put it in a bowl and have it served in a house seat and I'm going to show you how this is. So this is how we end up our cooking. Right then, go to the eating part. Okay, so this is how you actually eat it. There's our sherba over here. And you can see the color, the texture, the soup. It's really awesome. I just can't wait to get into it. I'm going to eat it with the freshly baked bouquet. 
Now I want freshly baked, okay? This is how it's supposed to be eaten. Now try it. Trust me, this is something you will regret if you don't eat it for the rest of your life. Trust me, it's an awesome recipe. Once you eat it, you're definitely gonna love it. it you can uh, garnish a little lemon, spread a little lemon juice on it, and it becomes yummy. It's just awesome. So, um, I hope you like this video. Um, I don't really have a great presentation, I'm really poor at it, but uh, try to put up my best. Um, there's a lot of other videos coming up with a lot of international recipes, recipes you probably wouldn't have heard of and they are just great recipes. So um, just keep them subscribed and the videos will keep coming. And uh, thank you so much for uh, watching my video. If you really did like it, please click the like button and subscribe. And let's get back and meet up on another video. Thank you so much once again.